Hey guys, it's Jen. Okay, this is a real quick video on how to use uh, applique. Okay, so this is your applique piece. And if you want to line it with HTV, well, how do you do that in Canvas? I'm going to show you. Okay, so what I want to do first here is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to duplicate this little guy. I'm going to move him to the side. Now remember, this is your fabric piece. Okay. So now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to come to the little old roll of film looking thing. And I'm going to create an offset. Let's take it down to 0.16 is what I'm going to choose right now. Make sure that this box is not ticked. I'm going to click OK. All right, so that gives me an outline. Okay, I'm going to do this and center it back up. Nothing is working. It's froze. Well now, there we go. Okay, so now I need to make sure that my big piece is not sitting on top. So I'm going to come here and send it to the bottom. If you ever do subtract and your whole thing disappears, that's because your big item is sitting on top of it. So let's subtract it. So now we have just one cutout piece. Well, that's all good, great, and fine, but you're not going to have any that's going to overlap this. So now we have to somehow get this to overlap. So we're going to come back in here to edit. Old roll of film again, which is the offset. We're going to take this down. 0.4. Let's do 0.08 and click OK. We're going to drag off the original and we're going to get rid of that. Hopefully that was the original. <laughs> okay, so let's line these up. Okay, yes. So that's what you want to see. All right. You want to see, so let's make this our fabric color. Make it pink. Let's make this our HTV color. Make that like a minty color. Okay, so now let's put them all back together. Okay, so now you see your HTV will now overlap your fabric and you are good to go. So that is how you do that in Canvas. Okay, guys, if you have any further questions, you can contact me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. I do not get to YouTube to answer questions. Thanks, guys.